welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in the previous video we created a functionality that we can now shoot arrows and uh, in this video we are going to create a functionality so that we would um, shoot arrows depending on how long we are um, yeah like empowering the bow giving the string a pull so let's begin the first thing what I'm gonna do is go to the third person character and inside of here now we should create this functionality and I will do that so I need a custom event so I might move these arrow animation replication functions out and I will add my new event over here so the first thing what I'm going to do is create a new custom event and I'm going to call this arrow strength arrow strength and I'm going to replicate this on server run on server and I will add a new variable and I'm going to call this arrow power and I will make this into a float value and I will replicate this variable as well so there we go and inside of here what I will do is I will drag this in I will set this to zero first then I will set this variable again but this time I'm going to get this value and I'm going to add to this float and I will add 200 or now nah, I will add a hundred better like so and after this I will do a branch check and I will check if this value is smaller than let's say my maximum so let's add a new variable and I'm gonna call this max arrow power and I will compile this and I will make this uh, let's say like 3000 will be my max power for the arrow and I will check if this um, arrow power is smaller than the max arrow power like so and if it's so then I'm going to do a delay of let's say 0.1 seconds and then if this is true then I will do a reroute to over here to make this uh, run again and add more power so this should look something like this so now I will compile and save this and now since we have this all set up what I might do next is let's see so we need to run this event and I will run this on where I have this start bow animation where we are drawing out the bow so I'm gonna do this over here so arrow strength is gonna launch from here and now let's make this actually work so what I will do is go to my arrow projectile I will select the projectile movement component and inside of here I'm gonna change the initial speed to zero the velocity to zero and I will do component replicates like so the next thing what I will do is I will add a new variable and I'm gonna call this arrow power which is going to be a float value and this needs to be instance editable and exposed on spawn and now I will go to the construction script and inside of this construction script I'm gonna drag in my projectile movement component and I will do a set um, set initial speed and I will set this initial speed to arrow power and the next thing what I'm gonna do is set velocity and for this velocity I will split the pins and connect velocity x to arrow power like so so now I will compile and save this and now back in the third person character we need to find a location where we are spawning 
our projectile so this already appeared for me but usually it doesn't so you need to select a different uh, class and then select the arrow projectile again if this does not appear and now we need to run this through here so we need to add um, a input to our shoot arrow so I'm gonna do that and gonna, I'm gonna call this again arrow power and this needs to be a float type and we can connect this right here and let's see where we have this shoot arrow it's right over here so I'm going to connect this arrow power like so there we go so now we can compile and save this and let's test this out let's press play again it's better to test things out through the um, client so let's shoot so the arrow falls over there if we wait a longer while we can see that the arrow gets shot further so that's great so now let's fix that uh, after every arrow we need to aim again and that it wouldn't be just like it is right now so let's see in the third person character so we are doing this then we are releasing and we are stopping this whole thing we need to go to a place where we are shooting the arrow and once we have shot the arrow we should do stop bow animation and we need to set our is shooting bow uh, is shooting arrow to false so now if we would compile and save this let's pick up a bow and there we go after we shoot it we can no longer shoot it we need to pull back again and wait so now let's add a UI so that we would actually see the power of the arrow so I'm gonna go to the UI folder and I'm going to add a new user interface which I'm gonna call UI arrow power and inside of here I'm going to add a progress bar So we might actually move this down like so. I will make this a bit smaller and go up here. And actually I should anchor this to the bottom left. And now, so if we are filling this, we are filling it like so, but I want this to go up. So bar fill type needs to be bottom to top. And I'm going to create a binding for this so over here what I'm gonna do is cast to third person character the object reference needs to be get owning player pawn and I'm going to get arrow power and I'm also going to get max arrow power and then I'm going to divide these two values with one another so float divided by float and the end value can go in the percentage so that's that that's all that we need for this the next thing what I will do is go back to the third person character and let's find this arrow strength event I will move this all of this back to give me some more space because here after we are setting this to zero we are going to spawn uh, actually create widget and this widget needs to be our UI arrow power and from here we are going to promote this to a variable and I need to move these back because I have no space and after this I'm going to add to viewport like so there we go and this variable I'm going to rename to UI arrow power like so and let's see so we are creating this and we need to uh, remove this as well so over here we will do when we stop the bow animation 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually, we can do this over here as well. So stop bow animation. Let's drag this in the UI and let's remove from parent. And this should work just fine. So let's see, let's press play. Let's select the bow, press I. And we are getting an issue that this appears on the other player's screen. So I guess we are not okay with adding this over here or let's see. So this does not work like I at it attended it to. So I'm going to remove this, remove from parent from over here. Uh, I guess we are not allowed to run this on server, otherwise it glitches out. So I'm going to move this as well. So I'm going to press Control X to move these nodes, and I will move these nodes here. We are before we uh, well after we are launching this arrow strength event. So I'm going to do this like so, so that this would happen in the local space. And now we need to stop this. So over here where we are. Uh, releasing the left mouse button to aim. I'm going to drag in this UI and I'm going to remove from parent over here. Like so. And now I'm going to copy these nodes and I'm going to go to the location where we're shooting the arrow over here. So in here I'm going to connect this like so so that we would re remove the uh, widget once we shoot the arrow as well. So now if we would press play then this works perfectly. So you can speed up the uh, power of the arrow to go up higher faster over here. If you would add um, more to this arrow power or just uh, lower the delay so that uh, the value would add faster but I'm just going to leave it like it is for now and the next thing what I want to do I want to um, make my character move uh, with my mouse movement so what I'm gonna do is select the third person character self and I'm going to look for use controller rotation job so I'm going to check this to be true like so and now if we would press play and move the mouse our character moves around as well there we go and we can see that this also is getting replicated but we have a small issue if we walk sideways it looks like this so I don't really like this. Um, yeah, well, you can leave it like it is, but I'm not a fan of this. So I have a small fix for this. What I'm going to do is back in the third person character. I'm going to go to the defaults and I'm going to add some things over here. So I'm moving with WASD. So I'm going to do a keyboard A. So there it is, keyboard A. Also, I'm going to do keyboard S and keyboard D. There we go. And now on pressed, I'm going to set controller job use set controller rotation job and I'm going to on all of these pressed I'm going to set this to false and I'm gonna copy this set and I will set this to true once we release the button like so so now if we would press play and walk around we can see that now our character does move so that's going to be it for this video. We have created quite a few functionalities for this. So now if we would look around, we can shoot the arrow way nicer than before and we can actually aim a bit more properly. So that's going to be it for this video. 
if you liked the tutorial leave a like leave a comment um, leave a suggestion on what other tutorials you want me to create now I'm going to add a pistol to this and uh, we are also going to uh, after we have a pistol repair the movement while we are aiming so that we wouldn't be able to move uh, during the aiming phase so thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video